My name is Ayala Raiden. My name is Abby Bura. My name is Sila Ginspark. My name is Emma Frieden. My name is Leora Goldberg. My name is Nidira Ensign. My name is Nicole Manches. My name is Miriam Blue. My name is Clara Feather. Walking into Hadar the first day of ninth grade, I remember feeling a lot of anticipation. Ninth grade was scary. Just taking that leap of faith, it was. It was the first day that we were all meeting each other. On my first day of ninth grade, I remember being very stressed out about all my school supplies. I was super nervous and super scared to be going into high school. It wasn't only the students' first day, it was also the teachers' first day. I definitely remember orientation when they surprised us and told us we were going in a limo. Just looking out at this view and knowing that this was going to be an experience of a lifetime. I have a lot of favorite memories from high school, but I think one of my favorite memories is when we went to SeaWorld with the whole school. I actually love orientation of dark. So much energy in the air, everyone's excited to see each other, everyone's excited to be back, and everybody rushes to fill each other in. My ultimate favorite memory from high school is the first day of senior year. Eating lunch with just the girls from all the different grades. Definitely being the only class in the school is a really, really awesome memory to have. All of high school is a favorite memory. You feel caring from everyone. There's a lot, I think. <laughs> Definitely all the things from the Israel trip. My favorite memory from high school was the Israel trip. It was a really amazing time to get to know my friends more and bond with them, and it also really showed me how close we were. On our Israel graduation trip on Friday night, we were at the hotel and we sang the Bola Shabbat. And just sitting next to my best friends, surrounded by all of them, and the, the mentors and the role models that I for sure look up to. And it's an experience that I'll never forget. That was my favorite moment in high school because it was such an amazing realization that I had that I can remember forever. Everyone just kind of really exemplifies caring, and it's really just such a warm environment. It's like you started like a giant big family. Being part of the first graduating class of Adar means that we were growing alongside with this whole school, and to see like how much we've accomplished and like where we are right now is just really amazing. From going to just a few girls in an office building to having a whole high school and so many girls that are surrounded with so much energy and so much excitement and they're proud to be a Hadar girl and it's so amazing to see. We grow throughout our high school experience. You look at us in ninth grade, you look at us today and it's not recognizable. We all have become a better version of ourselves. We helped make the school. We were part of shaping it. I think it was really a great experience to be a part of shaping your own high school. We all really grew together. You really feel like you're a part of creating something. You're not just a student, like you're really part of building the school. I mean, anyone can say that they graduated from high school, but I don't think many people could say that they started a high school. We are all Hadar, and that's what we are always. We're always all together, this one school. We're never different grades, all just in the same building. We are Hadar. If I was able to give advice to a ninth grader, I would definitely tell them, get involved. It's definitely to go out of your comfort zone. Put yourself out there, branch out, and try to become friends with other girls in other grades. To really take advantage of the next four years because High school flies by super fast. A big piece of advice that I have for incoming ninth graders is to always step out of your comfort zone. Become friends with people who you wouldn't necessarily be friends with because you have this opportunity in such a small school and it's really fun. A big lesson that I learned throughout my four years of high school is that even if you fall down, it's really important to get yourself back up. I'd probably tell them to just jump right in, to make a name for yourself, to just be a leader and be a part of something that you know is so amazing. One last message would be to thank everyone who, who made my high school experience what it was. My past four years at Adar have really been an amazing experience and I definitely wouldn't want to be anywhere else. And the lessons that I've learned, I'm definitely going to take with me for the rest of my life.
Wow, <laughs> it's been a long ride. Thank you, Hadar, so much. Yeah. I'm graduating. I can't wait to visit and, oh, that's so sad. I'm gonna be visiting. <laughs> But I would like to thank Rabbi and Mr. Shackett, my teachers, and my parents. And lastly, I want to thank my class. Thank you for always being there for me these past four years. And I'm so excited to see all the special things that you guys will do in the future. I'm so happy. And I'm so thankful to Hashem. And I'm so thankful to you guys that I was able to be your classmate over the past few years. And I love you guys so much. And I'm going to miss you so much. I could not have asked asked for a better class. I all the friends I've made and the relationships that I've created and the bonds, I guess will really never leave me. They are so important to me and they made me who I am. To be able to be a part of that first graduating class has made me who I am, has made my classmates who they are. It was just everything that I could have imagined and more. I really hope that we left a legacy for Hadar and I think we set the standard pretty high. And just to see like how much I've grown, how much the school has grown is really inspiring. It's just really special being able to say that we'll be in Hadar history forever. I would not be where I am today or who I am today without my teachers, my faculty, and my friends. So thank you. I know it was worth it, because now like, you really know you're a part of something so much greater. And that's what it means to me to be the first graduating class of Hadar.